home. The Warwick Warriors had high hopes for a Class 5A football state championship, but this afternoon word came that they had to forfeit their District 3 5A title game against Governor Mifflin that was scheduled for Friday night due to COVID-19 cases. Our Alex Colley has the details. Day by day, day by day. Over the weekend, the Warwick Warrior football team was able to fend off New Oxford and punch their ticket to a district championship game. Behind the scenes, the administration continued to monitor a rise in COVID cases. The, the weekend didn't go well for us in that regard. And uh, yesterday we were doing contact tracing for, for situations. And then first thing this morning, we were right back at it. And uh, it just became apparent that um, this wasn't going away. Our hand was forced in that regard. And with that, one of the District 3 teams that no opponent could stop saw their season come to a close at the hands of COVID-19 as the Warriors forfeit the district championship game against Governor Mifflin. The other thing, you, you know, it's not just about our safety. You also add the, uh, the opponents. You don't want to put them in, a, in harm's way. Now, sadly, one of the greatest Warrior football teams to ever strap on the pads for Warwick becomes the latest to see their year suddenly cut short, a feeling some of their peers know all too well. We had some really, really talented spring spring sports, spring, you know, we had the defending uh, state champions in, in girls track and uh, our softball team were, were uh, looking to make a third trip to states and they didn't get to play a single game or have a single part of their season. So this uh, situation, this, this COVID has just taken on awful a lot away from uh, a lot of people. Well, it's not the ending they wanted in the long run. It's the journey that most will remember about this warrior team and this group of very talented seniors. Just, just such a special group. Um, it, it's been quite a run. We're in like a four or five year window that has just been high quality, uh, really talented. Just enjoy watching them. And this year was kind of the tip of that where uh, a lot of special individuals and collectively as a group. In Lidditz, Lancaster County, Alex Cauley, Fox 43. Let's detour to a place where things 